Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. How are you all doing? How's life? Etc. Hi, guys. There we go. Ooh, my face looks like it might be trying to break out a little bit. Not my fave. It doesn't hurt yet, so I'm going to call that a victory. <laughs> but if later, during this stream, um, suddenly it looks like there's a thing just trying to crawl out of my face, you'll know. We'll have called it. We'll have called it early. <clears throat> Hi, guys. Oh, is it still in sub only? Very weird. Uh, how do I turn that off? I really need to learn these these things. Sub only off. Wow. Hold on just a sec. <laughs> um. Boop boop. Welcome. Curl Waffles, thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the Cat Gang. Is it sub mode? Let's try that. Nope, that's not it. Um. I tried slash sub. I tried slash sub only. I tried... Fuck. Hold on, there's gotta be a list. There's gotta be a list! I need to learn how to do this. I need to learn how to do these commands for when there are no mods around. Goodness gracious. Okay, hold on. Lord. <laughs> uh, Drunk Arch, make sure that there isn't, like, a pop-up at the top. Ah, oh, thank you. Chat commands. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> okay, let's do that. We're not in slow mode anymore. Don't abuse it. And then, ah, subscribers off? Whoa, fuck. Okay, there we go. <laughs> We've done it. I fixed it. <laughs> I'm the ultimate mod. <laughs> I'm so sorry, everybody. Everybody who came in was like, why are we in sub only? It's from yesterday. Uh, yesterday we had um, a lot of problems with people backseating during Dark Soulmates. And so we were in sub only and we had a really long slow mode on. So I'm very sorry that those are still up. But it's fixed now. <laughs> Almighty Cactus, thank you for the 13 months. Lugster, thank you so much for the two. I'm going to catch up now. Arganator, thank you for the two years. Happy, happy, happy anniversary. Thank you so, so much. Borgs, thank you for the two months. Burrot, thank you for the 15. Art of Cell, thank you for the 16. Um, Drunk Arch, thank you so much for the six. Dank Dungos, thank you for the seven. <laughs> Plebs rejoice. Backseating in Dark Souls is terrible. It was, it was very... It was very difficult because it was hard. I I was trying, sorry. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. I just got obsessed with, there was like a specific hair that was really bothering me. Um, uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I was, I was trying to be really patient with it because some people would forget. Cause like Sam's chat was pretty much anything goes the Wild West, right? And my chat was like, don't tell her anything. Um, so <clears throat> people would forget which chat they were in sometimes. And uh, yeah, and then, you know, new people would come in and say something or somebody would say something that they thought was was not a backseaty thing and then they'd get really frustrated that they got timed out it was just it was it was rough yesterday <laughs> there was a lot going on <laughs> omega lupus thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the cat gang thank you for the support have a lovely day and use the emotes for evil not good twitch unsubbed me you should go beat them up that happens sometimes that's been happening what does backseating mean it means um telling the person 
uh, how to play the game or um, what like the best option is. So say that you're playing a game that has a lot of choices. It's telling you like, oh, you should choose this. You should do this choice because it's the best one. Or um, if you're like in a fight, right? In Dark Souls, it was a lot of it was a lot of fight back seating. So like I would be in a fight with something, and people would really want to tell me the best way to like go about fighting that person. I'd be like, don't tell me that. I don't want to know that. That's not fun for me. You know, Asperling, thank you so much for the 21 months. And OMG, a poo poo laser. Thank you so much for the six months. Lafalini, thank you for the 45. <laughs> Frozen Flare, thank you so much for the five months. Shouldn't have gotten greedy, showed up a lot. Yeah, that is that one really. Uh, that's a really easy way for me to go from, I'm not tilted at all, to looking at chat and seeing a bunch of people being like, well, of course you lost, you got greedy. Suddenly tilted. And I don't think that that's fair. I don't think that that's fair to me. If the game isn't tilting me, but chat is, <laughs> then like, I need to do something about chat, right? That's just... Sam kind of backseated you? Right, it's Dark Soulmates. Sam is my only backseater in Dark Soulmates. Like, I'm fine with that. Because there were lots of situations where he would... I, I would know if there was something he wanted me to just experience and not know about it. He would, like, step away, right? And let me, like, go and do something and just see what would happen, right? Um, there were... He, he knew what... I... I would ask him questions instead of just relying on the madness that is chat to, to like, just barf answers at me before I'd even asked. <laughs> it was, like, a lot of that. Anyways. He gave you later DLC weapons and pyromancies? Sam's never done the- he's never done the DLC, Great Burino, so I don't know what you're talking about. I know, Stu. I know. That's- but, like, it still happens. <clears throat> Anyways. <coughs> Commando Joe! Yay! Thank you so much for the eight months. I didn't lose my streak. Hell yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Let's- let's move on to a different topic because, um, I can tell some of you are getting defensive about it. <laughs> The Line, thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the Cat Gang. Thank you for the support. Have a lovely day and use the emotes for evil, not good. Yes, the the very last episode of Nebula Jazz is happening today. There's a lot of pressure on me. There's a lot of pressure on me. <clears throat> I'm not going to say why because I don't want to... I don't want to... Uh, spoil anybody who's still catching up on nebula jazz some of you guys are like watching the first season for the very first time so have you ever played bloodborne i have i loved bloodborne i loved bloodborne the last episode yep i was high dodger by the way <laughs> <laughs> Is it the last episode of Nebula Jazz forever or for this season? Um, there is no confirmation that we will ever continue it again. So, yeah. This is season two. Um, for any of you who are making your way through season one, please, everybody in chat, don't spoil anything that happens in season one. Um, but season two, uh, just like... This is the last episode, and it's it. We literally ended with a huge cliffhanger last episode, where a lot is riding on me. <laughs> so, uh, I'm I'm a little <laughs> a little. I literally I tweeted this morning that I was laying in bed, just like this morning, right? It was like 9 a.m. I was like just sitting in bed. And Sam rolled over and, like, kind of opened his eyes and was like, what's wrong? Are you okay? You look really worried. Are you- 
are you all right? I was like, oh, yeah, I'm f no, I'm fine. I'm totally fine. And he was like, are you sure? Because you looked really worried. Like, you can, you can tell me what's wrong. And I was like, it's really stupid, Sam. <laughs> like, this is not, it's not going to be worth you worrying about me worrying. And he was like, just what, what was it? Just let me know. What was it? It's fine if it's dumb. And I was like, I was thinking about Nebula Jazz and and how like i hope i don't mess it all up and he was like oh my god go back to sleep <laughs> <laughs> no i have made a decision i have made a decision that doesn't mean that there isn't any pressure there anymore <laughs> uh cryptid Vulps, it's showing up that you're subbed for me purple haze thank you so much for the two months if you mean like the pop-up if the pop-up hasn't happened um, check the top of chat and make sure that there isn't, like, a yay announced to the stream that you subscribed sort of a thing. The one and only Stevie, thank you so much for the 35 months. I did some Artemis fan art. The drawing program did not like saving so many dark colors at once into an image file. Oh, I'm glad that you drew her. That's awesome. Is Nebula Jazz live? It is. Yes. It happens on It Me JP's channel. Um, and uh, we've been doing it on Monday nights, Pacific time. So it'll be Monday today at 6 o'clock. And it'll be the finale. All of the other ones, the VODs of all of the other ones are on JP's YouTube channel. The dinner party VOD made me laugh so much. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, for any of you who don't know, Jesse had a dinner party that he streamed. Um, it was me, Sam, Kristen, Aaron Umatani, and Jesse. It was the five of us eating. And then Andy doing all of the, like, cooking and prepping. So there were, like, multiple cameras. It was really, really fun, actually. Um, originally, uh, Jesse was like, yeah, so we'll, like, stream all of the, the cooking part. And then... Once that's all done, we'll take the stream down and then we'll just like chill and eat. Um, but they decided to do it this way instead. And I, th I think that it was pretty awesome, actually. Because <laughs> there was like there was like a good breathing time between each thing, if that makes sense. Did you see JP's five-year roleplay poster? Oh, yeah. He showed it to all of us. It's awesome. Can you find all of my characters? Even my very, very first character is on there. Actually, that's not true. My very, very first roleplay character was in a DJ Wii one-shot. So that's not true. Ego Ops, thank you so much for the three months. And the first Mojo, thank you for the seven. Wait, he streamed a dinner party? That's the notification that woke me up on 4am on Sunday. <laughs> yeah, it was super fun. Zupa, thank you for the two. And Bjarni, thank you for the eleven. I thought it was funny he didn't want to hear your guys' critiques. Well, he made it really clear that he's, like, obsessed with what went wrong, right? So he didn't want to hear anything that was going to throw him off of concentrating on the food, which I get. Um, Dark Grey Otter, thank you for the two. And Seth says, thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a brand new member of the cat gang. Is that the barbarian lady who nommed a titty? No. No, she's on there. If you can find her. Sweet Juliet. Juliet is on that. Um, Breakdown is on there. Eugene is on there. Artemis is on there. Um, I don't think I don't think any characters from one shots are on there. I think it's only um, characters that were in larger shows, but I don't know. No, the lips were not edible. I thought we made that pretty clear. They were plastic lips. <laughs> I know. Fucking Juliet did what she wanted. <laughs> Ooh. How does subbing work? What do you mean? Subbing on Twitch? Um, basically, you can, if you would like to, you can pay four ninety nine a month and uh, you'll get all of my emotes and you won't see ads and, um, yeah, some of most of that money supports me. It like goes straight to me. So 
Yeah. Um, if you subscribe, oh, like, with a card, then it'll auto-renew, and it'll just happen uh, every month. And um, you can also have a free sub every month through Twitch Prime. So if uh, if you have Amazon Prime, you can link your Twitch to it, and then you'll get one free subscription every month. But you have to, like, physically renew it each month. Sushi Commander, thank you so much for subscribing. And okay, I'll pay you now. Just subscribed as well. Thank you both. Welcome to the Cat Gang. I hope you're having a lovely day. Use the emotes for evil, not good. And be kind to your fellow Puritos. I'm watching them all extremely sick. I hope you feel better, Leo. I kept my Prime sub up for a year already. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, forces equals zero. Thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the Cat Gang. And Bing Crusher, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you both. Welcome to the Cat Gang. I hope you're having a lovely day, and I hope you enjoy the stream. Hi, Ben Sanders. How are you? Are you going to play Sea of Thieves when it releases? Yeah. It's like doing a stress test right now, I think. But it's coming out pretty soon, isn't it? Cat-loving, coffee-drinking burrito babe. Zer, thank you for the 38 months. And Wafflewell, thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the Cat Gang. Have you watched Black Panther? I have. It's fucking awesome. That movie was great. <laughs> we all really, really enjoyed that movie. Comes out on March 20th. Oh, next month. Interesting. People are, people are posting the dinner party VOD. So for any of you who are like... Where's the VOD of it? It's being posted in chat. Just just scroll up to where it says Catherine Dinner Party. Happy Sammy. Thank you for the 20 months. And Cadwaladder. Cadwaladder. Thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the Cat Gang. I'm doing great. I need to try some of your coffee at some point. Welcome if you do, I hope you like it. Cat-loving, coffee-drinking burrito bay. Um, we just, uh, we're, like, finalizing what the, 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 um, labels on the tea is going to look like right now, which is super fun. What's your favorite piece from the new merch? Oh my god, I I love the pins so much. Danny and I have been wanting to make pins for so long that now that we actually have pins for sale, we're so giddy about it. <laughs> I love the shirts. I'm really excited to finally have that pomp shirt up because he made that a long time ago. Um, but it's it's just so fun to finally have pins up. It's loose tea. So it's it's like a package like this. And then it's got loose leaf tea inside of it. I think it was a missed opportunity not to call them strip teas. I know. I know that everybody really wanted that name. <laughs> there would be K-cup versions of your coffee. No, it kinda it it kinda goes against because they're not very earth conscious. It sort of goes against um the the ideals of the partner company that I'm with. But um, I use a reusable K-cup, so you can always do that. Yes. Who is this? This is uh, my. This is me. And are you my streaming? Yes. How long are you actually streaming? Um, until Nebula Jazz. What's up? Cool. Can I, cool. like... Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Even cool. while you're streaming... Yes. You can do it on the stream. Okay. Can I bug you to, like, record a few lines for a really cheesy thing I'm doing? <laughs> you can do it on stream. I need, I need someone to pretend to be Daisy Ridley. How soon do you need this thing? Today. While you're streaming. While I'm... I have to do it while I'm streaming? Yes. Preferably while you're streaming. What... Who... I don't... I don't know how... I don't know what voice you want. What is... Daisy Ridley... Literally Ray from Star Wars. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Just like a cheesy British voice. <laughs> okay. Practice right now. What's your cheesy British voice? Hello, governor. Nope, that's not good. <laughs> nope, that's not good. I need like, a, like the rain in Spain falls mainly on the plain. Oh, it's close enough. Great, Great. cool. All right, I'll be back. That's the only. Have, that's the only line I can do for you. For you to record in like five minutes. Okay, great. <laughs> okay, great. You're gonna do it on straight. Sure. All right. <laughs> Apparently, that's what we're doing. Apparently, we're doing that today. Us Brits don't sound like that. I'm aware. I'm married to one. 
But this is what he wants. He wants a bad British accent. I'll give that shit to him. Oh. Now that sounds like a fun work environment. <laughs> Um, hold on just a sec. Um, to whoever was asking if we're ever going to have 3XL sizes, our shirts and stuff go up to 5XL now. Um, so make sure that you're going to the new store. It's on the Yeti. Um, we have like much bigger sizes because, uh, yeah, I saw somebody say that and I was like, I thought that we did now. I thought that was one of the like benefits of this <laughs> is that we have much bigger shirts and things. Uh, Copper Nasher, thank you for gifting a sub to my Deacon and Hipster Nate. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you both. Welcome to the cat gang. I hope you're having a lovely day. Use the emotes for evil, not good and be kind to your fellow burritos. Why not just ask Sam? Because he wants Ray from Star Wars. Not, um, I don't know. Who else? Who? I don't know. I don't know another character. <laughs> I wonder if Jesse asked Sam for a bad American accent. I don't, I couldn't, I have no idea. It's been a lovely few minutes, but it's time for bed for me. Good night from Sweden. Good night, Crazy Murr. Sleep well. Sure, Obi-Wan. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do the Ray voice. Sam will do the Obi-Wan voice because they were alive at the same time. And uh, I'm sure they'll make good use of it. I'll be Ray. Sam will be Kylo. <laughs> he needs to grow his hair out just like a little bit more but Sam's much better at doing an American accent now because he's lived here for so long I saw that awesome painting of you on Twitter. It was amazing, but does that freak you out? No, not at all. I fucking love fan art. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. When people, like... I, I'm i always fascinated by artists. And when somebody wants to, like... I don't know. When somebody wants to take the time to make art of me, I'm always very humbled by it. Because American accents are so hard to get right, Kappa. Okay, damn. Apparently American accents are super easy. <laughs> are we playing Monster Hunter or is there a game called Monster Slayer? There's a game called Monster Slayer. I'm so sorry, Danny. <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing, is that um, depending on where you're from, different forms of American accents will be easier for you, right? But I can't believe this, the yanking of my chain. I know. Well, for those of you who aren't aware, I'm very, very much into a game called Slay the Spire. And um, no, we're not doing Dark Soulmates today. We're playing Monster Slayer. Um... I'm very much into Slay the Spire. I love the idea of a deck building, like, roguelike. Um, and there's another one that has been out for a while that TB told me about called Monster Slayer. And I never gave it a chance. And since um, we can only stream until Nebula Jazz happens today, I was like, maybe I'll try out Monster Slayer. See how it is. You know.
Yeah, for Sam Sam's uh Sam's default American accent was always uh very Texan. <laughs> very, very Texan. And then Jesse came in and said you had to record. Look, whatever. <coughs> Tell him to bring me coffee. Unfit Cheetah, thank you so much for the 29 months. Hello. Hello. Okay. <laughs> Come on in, director. <laughs> Let me get a... I don't need a chair. <laughs> Here's your script. Oh, gosh, there's a bunch. Yeah, it's not a lot. Hi, everyone. It's not a lot. You're playing Daisy. Is this microphone on? Hello. It, I, yeah, Hello. it still is. Hello, everyone. <laughs> All right. Do you feel your motivation? It's for an ad. <laughs> It's for a cut. It's for a giveaway. Okay. And you're Daisy Ridley. Okay. <laughs> and uh, and you're playing as Ray, and I'm going to be Kylo Ren. Okay. And we can we can we can like run through it if you want. It's just the beginning. I don't want to give away the, the actual prizes. Okay. <clears throat> hey Ray. <laughs> hey Ray. It's me, Kylo. Are you wearing your mask? Yes. He's wearing his mask in this oh, scenario. Oh, okay. Great. <clears throat> hey, Ray. Right. Hey, Ray. It's me, Carlo. Okay. I'm aware. Please stop calling me like this. It's weird. Yeah, but I have some cool news for you. Oh, for the love... Put a shirt on, please. I, I... You know how I feel about shirts. But why is your helmet on? Why are your pants up so high? That's how my grandfather wore them. This is stupid. What do you want? Have you given any thought to the dark side yet? No, I've heard all about it. You've got cookies and whatever. I use the internet, you know. And this is where I get into the meat of this, but I'm not going to spoil it for you guys. And then I say something directly to camera, and then you say... Who are you talking to? The end. Perfect. <laughs> Great. Perfect. Let's record a thing. <laughs> hey, come on. Hey. Hey, it's me. I'm Kylo Ren. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Kylo. <laughs> I just want to be your teacher. <laughs> Your, your Kylo voice is very similar to your ghost voice I from the letter. <laughs> I just want to be your, I just want to be your teacher, Ray. Let me teach you. I just want to teach you. Um, okay. So, wait. If you giggle, I'll be quiet. I'll be super quiet. Okay. So I'm aw. So I have to do these on my own now. I can do it, and then you can come in, and we'll do like a. I have to do them on my own. No, it's fine. I, 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 no, here we go. Here we go. I'll set you it's up. It's fine. For I'll set you up for lines. I'll set you up for lines. Okay. I'll set you up for lines. <clears throat> hey, Ray. <laughs> hey, Ray. <laughs> hey, Ray. <laughs> hey, Ray. It's me, Kylo. <laughs> Hold on. Hey, Ray. <laughs> hey, Ray. <laughs> Cat-loving, coffee-drinking burrito. Hey, Ray, it's me, Kylo. Oh, there is just a... That's good. There's just a guy outside blowing leaves now. Yeah. We're busy, man! Yeah, we're trying to act in here. There's Fuck. Perfect... Hey, guy. Hey. We're hey, trying guy. to act in here. We're trying to act in Goodness here. Goodness gracious. Hey, guy, we're trying to act in here. <laughs> Hey Ray. <laughs> hey, Ray. Hey, Ray. It's me, Kylo Ren. Hey. All right, there we go. All right. <clears throat> hey, Ray. <laughs> Maybe you should just do the lines by yourself. Maybe I should. Maybe you should do the lines by yourself, and I'll just... Be quiet. Maybe I should. Oh, gosh. <clears throat> so then there's a lot of pressure. Okay. Are you kidding me? Is this... <laughs> literally next to... Look, he's literally next to my office. I like how... Is this the love child of Mitchell Pritchett and Cameron Tucker from Modern Family? It is. I've discovered that I am their child. <laughs> Go watch Modern Family. The gay couple, I'm their son. 
I am an exact replica. If you put their DNA strands together, Yo, I'd be them. Of all of the parents to have, though. Oh, right? yeah. Like, I'm you're in. lucked out. I would, That's great. Both of them, my favorite characters on that show. <laughs> yeah, of course. So, obviously. Yeah. Obviously. I'm in. Okay. <clears throat> I'm aware. Please stop calling me like this. It's weird. Uh, a little angrier. I'm aware. Please stop calling me like this. It's weird. Good. Uh, I have some cool news for you. Oh, for the love of- put a shirt on, please! You know how I feel about shirts? And why is your helmet on? Why are your pants up so high? It's how my grandfather wore them. This is stupid. What do you want? Have you given any thought to the dark side yet? No, I've heard all about it. You've got cookies and whatever. I use the internet, you know. Who are you talking to? A little more, like, angry. Who are you talking to? Perfect. Thank you. Send those to me. Cool. Acting in other things too. For Jesse, dear lord. What is this? Dear lord. What is this? What is what? No, I'm reading chat. They're like, God, you're good. They're talking to you. No, they're talking to you. Not me. I'm the guy over here who's like, hey. Hey, it's me, Ray. Yeah, that's the quality shit. That's the quality shit. Hey. Hey. Hey, it's me, Kylo Ren. I don't have a shirt on in this bit. <laughs> Wait, where the fuck did that go? Oh, oh. <laughs> hey, That's funny. What's going on, everyone? It's me, Kylo Ren. Uh, there they are. Yo, 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 Jesse. Bye, everybody. Bye, Jesse. Yeah, da, 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 yeah, da, 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 da. Oh, bye. I need to know my lines. Ah, oh, fair enough. Hey. <laughs> I don't think you'll ever forget the first one. <laughs> hey, Ray. Hey, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Did that. I'm sorry for anybody who was like, oh, that accent. I did my best. I did my best. <laughs> nice work, thank you. <laughs> I just realized you have a Squarespace shirt on. Yo, this shirt is so comfortable. <laughs> this shirt and my Soylent shirt are extremely comfortable, and I wear them way too often. <laughs> Aw, thanks, guys. Quit streaming, be an actor. I already tried that life. Well, in col I was- I did acting in college. <laughs> oh, uh, our baby is due in May. May 15th is the due date. It's very exciting. As someone who's British, Dodger has a better British accent than me. <laughs> I know that's not true. Right, Garth? No, seriously. Like, if you want me to wear your shirt with your, like, weird logo and shit on it, just make it fucking comfortable and I'll wear it all the time. Bowen, thank you so much for the three months. How's baby today? She's good. Um, yeah, she's, she's fine. I've gotten, I'm getting, I know it's going to get worse, so I don't want to say I've already gotten to the point, but I'm getting to the point where it's really hard for me to be comfortable ever. Um, which is fine. I can deal with it. <laughs> it's fine. I can deal with it. But yeah, if I'm, if I'm like sitting here for a while, I start to be like, Ooh, is there, is there a better way? Is there a better way? <laughs> Is there a better way to sit? Um, but yeah. Uh, Peckert, thank you so much for the four months. Avalon, thank you for the 13. Oh, Nicterhorse, thank you for the 19. No, I'm, I'm not like, I'm not in that stage yet. The, 
I wish this baby was out of my body stage. I'm not there, but I'm um, I'm I'm in a I'm in a stage where I have a lot of like front weight that I've never had before. <laughs> Did the baby love the food? Uh, the food at the dinner party? She was very active during that dinner party. Yeah, I have to... Yeah, these are my, um, my engagement ring and my wedding band. I have to wear them on a necklace now because my fingers are swollen. <clears throat> Criddle, thank you so much for the two months. <laughs> um... Yeah, I was sent a, I was sent like a pregnancy pillow and it's like this long, like kind of, kind of, um, it's like most of an oval and you can sort of like squish it around yourself. My only, my only problem with it so far is that part of it is supposed to go under your head, but I really hate when my head is like, I, I s most of the time sleep with either a completely flat pillow or no pillow. So trying to <laughs> trying to get comfortable with something under me that's making me like it's like tilting my head a lot is really really hard. So I haven't I haven't figured out a comfortable position with it yet. <clears throat> Are you at the stage where if something ends up on the floor it's staying there? That's really funny that you say that because um there have been two things that I've dropped on the floor <laughs> in the bathroom. There's been two things I've dropped on the floor that have gone, like, under, um, under the, like, sink area, where I've just been like, well, that's where that lives now. <laughs> so, well, that's, that's where that's gonna go. <laughs> and the opposite, my head needs to be higher than everything. Yeah, that's how Sam is. So, literally, like, we have four pillows, right? Sam is perfectly happy to have all four. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, and I'm fine with none. I typically have one. I'll typically have one, like, really thin one, because I like the just, like, little bit of, like, fluff. But... Yeah, I sleep on my front fairly often, too. Obviously, I can't do that anymore. Is it basically any, any pressure on your front? Um, it feels like there's a rock there. So like where the baby is, it just feels like you have a rock that's like pushing into your body. It's not comfortable. I don't know how we'll manage being parents and streaming, but we'll figure it out. Um, the thing that we keep saying, uh, the thing that Sam's mom told us, is, you know, you have, like, your normal life now, and then you'll have a baby, and then your normal life will be different, but you'll come up with a new, like, normal life, and it'll be fine, so. When are you going to start the game? Uh, I can start it now, if you're bored. Yeah, you can post, um, subs can post links. Is that Jesse in the background? No, I think it's Brett. No game, only talk. <laughs> when have the cats noticed what's going on? Uh, the cat, the cats don't really behave any differently. Aside from the fact that um, Watson likes to lay on me a lot more, but. No, uh, I stream in an office, so I'm in a building right now, um, with a bunch of other streamers and YouTubers. That's why Jesse was able to just, like, walk in. <laughs> um, a bunch of us all share the space together. Yeah, that's Brett. That's Brett. That's Brett. 
Yeah, yeah, she's trying to she's trying to help the baby hatch. <laughs> I know a lot of dad streamers being the mother while it's a baby means you're going to be gone for a while, huh? I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Any of you who watch uh, Super Couch Fighters, you recognize that laugh for sure. <laughs> Are you going to take lots of pictures of the baby and the cats together? Probably not at first, because we'll need to, like, we'll need to slowly introduce the baby and the cats, you know? Like, the cats can't be around the baby when she's a newborn, because... I mean, they can be around each other, but they can't, like... A, a cat like Sherlock could easily suffocate a baby, right? So, you know, you have to, like, be careful about how they... Um, how the cats, like, learn the baby's smell and get used to the baby being around, etc. How much of the Dragon Ball Fighters story have you recorded? Um, we're not through the first arc yet. And the game lists three arcs, right? Amant, thank you so much for the eight months. What is going on out there? Can I send a link to a channel I think you'd like? Um, sure. I won't like. I won't watch it now, but I can click it and have it up in a in a tab to watch later. Where are you uploading it? What the Dragon Ball Fighters storyline? Um, I'm a guest on Super Couch Fighters. So if you go to YouTube and you type in Super Couch Fighters, that's where it's all going. It's not it's not my show. I'm just I'm just there. I'm just there hanging out. I've been watching VODs and I totally missed that you were live. <laughs> well, what's up? You missed um, me recording a bunch of... <laughs> a bunch of uh, Ray lines for Jesse. And that's the most exciting thing that's happened today. MLM, thank you for the 20 months. Is your plan about a Nebula Jazz fan comic still active? Oh, like the fan art stuff that I would love to do? I mean, yeah, I still think about it. But... Why did you record them? Why did I record what? The the Ray lines? Because Jesse asked me to. I remember a while back Sam told us that you have a mug hoarding problem. How's that going? I've gotten rid of tons of mugs. Tons of them. I've given them away. It's... I've gotten rid of a bunch of mugs. Santel has to be one of the people drinking your cold brew from the bottle. That has to be the explanation for his boundless energy. We actually haven't had any of the cold brew in the office for a while. Welcome I was just thinking that to myself, that I need to order more for the office. Voodoo, thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the cat gang. Dun greed. No. I haven't seen that. Wait, let me look at it. Oh, sh oh, I did look at this. I did look at this this morning. Yeah, I decided this wasn't the sort of thing I wanted to play today, but... Yeah, it looks interesting. Oh my god, I forgot about Scream Collector. Hold on, I gotta open this really quick. Hold on, I gotta open this just real fast. Scream Collector, what's going on? Oh my god, I have 18 trillion dollars. 18 trillion screams, I'm sorry. Hold on, hell yeah. Okay, we're up to 200 on that one. Hold on, let me just blow all this money really fast. 
the 200 on that one. Okay, cool. I spent it all. No, I didn't. Uh... Whoa, there's a pathway leading up to my house now. Are you Americano? I am. I am Americano. <gasps> now I have zombies. Oh my gosh. So many zombies. Look at all this. You guys can't even see it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> just, I just wanted to really quickly use up my money. That's all. <laughs> Scream Collector is a terrible clicker game. It's actually not. It's not a terrible clicker game. It's a clicker game that... Uh, here, this is Scream Collector. Come on. There we go. This is Scream Collector. <laughs> we played this for like an entire day a while back. <laughs> this is this is where I'm at. Look at my look at look at this sh this shit. Look at all this shit. Oh my god, I had no witches. What the fuck? Hot damn. Oh my god, look how fast that's going. What the fuck? A plus graphics. I know, right? It's a clicker game where you, um, you build, uh, ugh. you build the best haunted house that you can, basically. Can we get inside the house? Not yet. We can't get inside the house quite yet. Um, so yeah, there we go. That's how our house is looking right now. Cool, cool, cool. I'll leave, I'll leave y'all to work. Um, yo, should we actually play a game? <laughs> I think we should actually play a game. Um, let's pop open Monster Slayers. I also kind of want a coffee. It's cold in my room. What do? What do? I know we've only been streaming an hour, but how would you guys feel about taking a very quick potty break? And I will grab some coffee. I believe... Some coffee was made earlier, so I should just be able to, like, no games. No games. Just talk. Only talk. Wow, damn. I'm glad that you guys enjoy my personality so much. I fully expected Dodger to turn this into another clicker stream. No. Not today. <laughs> not today. Okay, Egawops. Have a good night. But it's a vicious cycle. More potty break, more coffee, more potty break. Right, but like, I'm going to potty break anyway because I had my normal thermos of water and then Sam, being a sweet boy, when he was making my freshly meal, hashtag, uh, I was going to say hashtag subscriber. <laughs> freshly meal, hashtag subscriber, hashtag follower. Um, <laughs> he was making my freshly meal for me. He also brought me a solo cup filled with water. I've just, I've had a lot of Beverly's around is what I'm saying. <laughs> no Dark Souls today. Sam really wanted to do some DBZ, which I was totally fine with. So. <laughs> Hashtag viewer. <laughs> yeah, Hydrobot was killed. It was killed. You got me hooked on Scream Collector. I already have all the diamond upgrades. I only need seven scream upgrades to get into the house. Oh, damn. I believe in you. But Sam is monster hunting. Oh, well, whatever. He wanted to play something else. Sam seems very wonderful. You're very lucky. I am very lucky. He's fantastic. Soon she'll have a Freshly t-shirt. Yo, Freshly, if you guys send me a t-shirt, make sure it's real comp. <laughs> wear it all the time. <laughs> Tonari no Sekikun. It's a funny anime slash manga. I've never heard of it. Yay! Beverly's sounds like it should be Cockney rhyming slang. Um, that developed in college when, because, uh, you know, 
you could say like does anybody need a drink or you can say does anybody need a beverage if you're trying to be real fancy about it and we were all re-watching star trek the next generation um so <laughs> it turned into us saying the word beverage as though we were jean-luc picard does anyone need a beverage and then the doctor's name on that show is named beverly and so we were like beverly does anyone need a beverly <laughs> Because that's how he says her name. <laughs> and then, and now th that's all I can ever call drinks is Beverly's. Everybody grab a Beverly <laughs> and we'll, <laughs> and we'll uh, proceed. So that's, <laughs> that, was, that was my college life. <laughs> These are all the building blocks of me being an embarrassing mom, though. So I feel like, <laughs> I feel like all of this is working towards something good. I just thought it was a hip term. Oh, Danny, you've spent enough time with me to know I'm not cool, though. <laughs> Who's peeing in my office? <laughs> no one is peeing in my office. You're so prepared to embarrass your children. I know. Um... Yeah, the ones that my mom always does that will stick with me forever are if somebody burps, she sings, Welcome aboard, Richard! Where the fuck did that come from? Like, who did, like, what is that? I don't know the lore on that. I have no idea where that song came from. But literally my entire life, if my mom burps or if somebody else in the house burps, she goes, welcome aboard, Richard. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Like, does she have a story like I do about the Beverly thing <laughs> that she just refuses to share with people? Because it feels so normal to her now that she forgets that that's not a thing. <laughs> she claims she doesn't remember. I've asked her before. I've been like, why do you sing that song? And, uh, and she's always like, I don't know. You don't know? You don't remember? Um, she also does that if somebody farts. She goes, oh, there's a mouse in the house. <laughs> that one's really cute, though. That one's really cute. Somebody does a little, like, squeaker. A little squeaker fart. Oh, there's a mouse. There's a mouse in this house. My mom's really cute. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering, is if, like, somebody else in the family used to do that, and so now my mom does it, and, like, am I, am I letting the entire generational line down if I don't sing that now? Your mom is too precious. She's real cute. My mom is really cute. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Ramiv, thank you so much for the 21 months. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I'll start I'll start like locking it in now when people burp. Welcome aboard, Richard. It's a, it's a lot to commit to. <laughs> It's a lot. It's beyond just making the same goof every time. It's like a full on, like turning your life into a musical for a second. <laughs> no, just let it die. One time my brother was goofing around making farting noises by blowing raspberries. My dad walked by, actually farted, and caused my brother to shout, A real one! and run away. <laughs> now I imagine my brother shouting that every time I hear someone fart. <laughs> Somebody farts and you're just like, A real one! <laughs> Protector, my mom. 
I will. I will protect her always. I'm actually gonna see her tomorrow. I'm so excited. Um, for any of you who weren't here yesterday, I'm gonna be taking an impromptu trip to visit my family. Um, starting tomorrow. So I'm gonna drive over and see them for a couple of days. So I will be gone Tuesday, Wednesday, and part of Thursday. I might come back on Thursday and, uh, and do a little stream. But yeah, I'm very excited. I, haven't, I feel like I feel like I haven't seen them in forever, but it's really just because my mom and I have been talking about me going out there for a while. Um, my uncle just had surgery and like all kinds of stuff, so it'd just be really nice to see them and hang out. Going anywhere special? Uh, no, just gonna go see them. My mom really wants to go baby shopping with me. I've been baby shopping with Sam's mom, and my mom is like we got to go baby shopping. So she's she's planning a whole baby excursion, which I'm very excited about. I'm like, sure, anything that's going to make me feel like I'm more on top of shit will be great. <laughs> yeah, I'm driving to the desert. I'm not driving to Oregon. No, thank you. I don't have that kind of a... Uh, palette is the wrong word. But I don't like driving for that long. Did you fly or did Sam's mom visit? It was when we were there for Christmas. Tolerance? Tolerance might be the right word. Yeah, I, I don't have a lot of tolerance for driving. <laughs> Make sure you have your passport for New California. Man, if, if it, that sort of shit happened that fast, Texas would be its own country. <laughs> Driving while pregnant isn't fun anyways. Yeah. How'd you tell your family about the baby? Uh, when we were 10 weeks in, I think, um, we sent pictures of the ultrasounds. I'm never, I'm never at ease when I'm driving. So. Yeah, I think, I don't think it's a, it's not really a patience issue. I can sit and like listen to podcasts forever. It's a, I'm not, I feel like I can't relax at all for the entire time that I'm driving, you know? No, Sam's not going with me. It'll just be, it'll just be me with my parents. I'm the most relaxed when I'm driving. I know a lot of people who are like that. I am not. Um, every time I drive, I'm on edge. <laughs> I think it's interesting that it's one or the other for people. Um, talking to like Uber drivers and stuff, they're normally the sort of people who are just like, yeah, you know, I like driving, so fuck it. <laughs> So Sam isn't going to sleep for three days. <laughs> I hope not. I hope he takes care of himself. Passive Beard, thank you for the 11 months. And Ladoke, thank you for the five months. Right? I remember when Sam and I were dating when uh, he was in England. And we were like, how come nobody's made teleporters yet? Like, why isn't that a thing yet? What happened to gaming and anime news? Um, I just don't enjoy making them anymore. And YouTube sucks. So, I'm, I'm in limbo trying to figure out what I want to do with my YouTube channel, unfortunately. <clears throat> right? Teleporters would be so great. YouTube's gonna die soon? I don't know about that. But, you know, 
teleporters are death machines. No one can convince me otherwise. I've said this before, but anytime I think about teleporters, I just remember that uh, Star Trek original series episode where it split, uh, it split Captain Kirk into his good and evil sides. <laughs> They never had episodes that were, like, super terrifying where it was like, oh, no, we used the teleporter and this person got turned into, like, something monstrous or they, they like, literally vanished from existence. It's always like... <laughs> that episode was so funny. Oh, no, something went wrong with the with the teleporter. And then he comes in and there's two Captain Kirks and everybody's like... <laughs> oh, amazing. I love it. What would my evil side be like? Oh, look like? I mean, we would look identical. Except one of them would be like... <laughs> there would be me. And then there would be... And everybody would go, which one's the evil one? <laughs> evil Kirk had an eyeliner. Oh, shit, you're right. You're right, you're right. <sighs> were we gonna take a pee break we were i'm sorry the evil one's the smiling one obviously no <laughs> yeah the totally normal one is the one who's like because she's chill it's just because she's chill she's not trying to look she's not trying to look like she's conniving shit she's just chilled out nerds of the hawk thank you so much for the four months I'm trying to remember. Evil Kirk, like, punched a lot of people. <laughs> Evil Kirk punched a lot of people. I don't think... I don't think that there was a point where one of them seduced anybody. Very unkirk. Very unkirk. But I don't think that there was a point in that episode where he seduced anybody. I'm trying to remember how that episode went. Is the teddy upside down? No. He's holding my letter collector's edition. Like a good boy. Like a good boy. <laughs> I like that idea too, Draylen. Um the the whole uh data data versus lore storyline inside of Star Trek feels like a more advanced version of a good versus evil version of yourself, you know? Where, like, it's not that Lore is evil. He's just built differently and, like, developed in a different way where he's just got a lot of, like, frustrations that he doesn't know how to use, you know? It's... It, I thought that... I think Lore is an interesting character because I already loved Data, so when they were like, but Data's got a brother named Lore, and he's very emotional. I was like, oh. <laughs> now, I'm not bad. I'm just drawn that way. That's a good, that's a good reference. I haven't seen that movie in forever. Is the letter done? How did I miss this? We did finish the letter. We didn't get the true ending. I will tell you that, but I won't spoil anything else about it. <laughs> that line was in the trailer too. I had a I had a VHS that had a trailer for that movie for uh Who Framed Roger Rabbit. I gave up on Star Trek when the Borg Queen tried to bone everyone. Look, assimilate or die. Okay? <laughs> That's how they work. <laughs> assimilate at all costs. <laughs>
Who Framed Roger Rabbit honestly feels like a fever dream. No, no, no. Who Framed Roger yeah. Rabbit feels very normal compared to Cool World. Cool World is a straight up fever dream movie. <laughs> Saint Butt, thank you so much for the two months. I haven't seen Cool World since I, I watched Cool World when I was way too young to watch Cool World, and it was such a like. <laughs> As a kid, I was like, I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> I hated Cool World. I haven't like I literally watched it when I think I was. 10 or 11 something like that as an adult i have not watched that movie and i'm so curious what adult me would think of that movie because looking back on it i'm like <laughs> that was a really fucking weird movie the the basic idea of cool world is there's um there's an artist who keeps drawing this girl named holly right he keeps drawing this girl named Hollywood, and um, she's, like, this super sexy cartoon character, and he gets sucked into the world of his own comics, and it's, it's fucking weird, man. It's fucking weird because he really wants to, like, bone Holly. <laughs> that's, like, the whole, that's, like, the whole story is <laughs> him trying to bone Holly and Holly trying to get out of the comic book world so that she can be a real girl. That's the whole thing and it's so fucking weird. Yeah, Brad Pitt was in that movie. Yep. It's, that was a real that was a high point. That was a high point for Brad. <laughs> Can you do the real girl pose again? This one? She's a real girl. <laughs> real girl. It has a 4% on Rotten Tomatoes. Cool World does. Amazing. Holy shit. That's so great. Oh my god, really? God, that makes me so happy. <laughs> that makes me so happy. Fuck. What about Monkey Bone? I never watched Monkey Bone. <coughs> Mendeler, thank you so much for the five months. Do you remember a movie where there was a guy who was a superhero, he was super into being a superhero, and the girl was like, oh, brother, at the end of it, we can have the fence here and children here. Wait, why does that sound familiar? Bye, Linkus. Wait, now you've really fucked me up. What is that movie? That's all I remember about it? No, like... The we can have a fence here and children here line is... is there's, some, there's something in there. There's something in there. What is that movie? Fuck. 
I somehow wound up at an article called Marvel and DC Superheroes with Super Lame Powers. <laughs> oh my god, it is in Cool World, isn't it? Holy shit, it's actually from Cool World? Oh my god. I'm in oh Jesus Christ. I'm in a, I'm in a terrible I'm in a terrible hole. I'm going to go to the bathroom. You go to the bathroom or grab a drink or whatever you got to do. And uh we'll be we'll be back. Oh jeez. Oh god. Hello. Did y'all get everything done that you needed to do? I grabbed a little coffee, just a baby one. Just a tiny little one. Everybody always thinks this is a butt mug, because I drink it like this. It's not a butt, it's a cat paw. Just to establish right off the bat, for when people uh, start filtering in and being like, why is Dodger drinking out of a butt mug? It's not a butt mug. Although, if there was a mug that looked just like this and was just a little butt, I would buy it. <laughs> Yes, um, Nebula Jazz will be happening at 6 p.m. our time. Right now it is 2.30, so 3.30, 4.30, 5.30, 6. So in three and a half hours. Three and a half hours. Look at that double butt mug. Yeah, there's two butts on there. <laughs> Look at those two butts next to each other. <laughs> I haven't played Monster Slayers before. This is going to be my very first time, so let's hop into it. I know you guys all love hanging out and chatting, which I'm so glad because I also love hanging out and chatting. But, but we did say we would play a game. We did say we would play a game together. So let's try out Monster Slayers and see how it is. It has very good reviews. It's actually released. So look, if it's good, I'll be delighted. I'll be absolutely delighted. The BRB music is really loud. It's the exact same level it was at for pre-show. But I saw that everybody was like, ah, my ears, so I turned it way down. But if it's still loud, I can I can turn everything down even more. <laughs> Double the butts. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I gotta be honest, I wound up not going to the bathroom during that break because <laughs> I was talking with Brett about Cool World. <laughs> got uh, a couple of his friends in there and they're on one of the arcade cabinets that just has like a shitload of games on it so they're going through and playing all of the ones that make no sense and i was like yo do you guys remember cool world and they were all like hell yeah we remember cool world <laughs> it's good shit it's good shit um okay oops that's not what i wanted to do i wanted to mute it mute that desktop audio Boop. Put these on. Capture Monster Slayers. Turn this way down. Oh my gosh, make this a different size. Um. Okay, how's that volume? Too loud? Oh no, where is the game? Oh no. I minimized the game and now I can't find it. <laughs> what the fuck? Where did the game go? Okay, I've turned it down even more. This is really funny though. I have no idea. Uh, the game doesn't exist. Beastbots, thank you so much for the four months. And Jen Senning, thank you so much for subscribing. Yeah, what the fuck? Where did you go? A deck building roguelike adventure. All right, let's try it. More recruits for our guild. We have too many already. Everyone wants to join the Monster Slayers Guild these days. Send them to the Northern Valley and have them report to the guild masters there. 
Let's hope they're quick learners. They're about to be thrown into the deep end. Select your character. Oh. Okay. No time to waste. Let's go. Oh, uh, wait. Repick class. Your character. Ranger, knight, barbarian, cleric, wizard. Hmm. Of course you asked for my help. Oh. Select your character. What the fuck? Select your okay. character. How's the sound? As long as we sell for treasure, I'll oh, I look different. He choose the hero's name. Um three, two, one. Uh Rock the Knights. You're gonna be our very first character. I hope we don't kill you. Um, sure, I accept. Good, good, it's alright, sound is good. Okay. Rumor has it, great treasures are buried in the northern valley, remnants of hastily buried loot and plunder from the Great War. You firmly believe there is no such thing as too much gold, so you've come to the valley to discover the lost treasures. Your quest is simple enough, but easier said than done. Slay three legendary monsters and return as a true monster slayer. Level 1. Many wish to be a true legendary monster slayer, but few are successful. If you wish to succeed, you must defeat a legendary mon- Wait! Okay. Huh. Okay. More like... More complex cards. Than what you start with in the other one. Let's learn the basics of the game. Yes, please. This place sure doesn't look friendly. Left click on an unexplored location. Boop. It's time to put our knowledge to the test. Welcome to Monster Slayers. Your hero's skills are represented by a deck of cards. Left click on a card to play it. Unplayed cards stay in your hand. For the next turn, you can right-click on a card twice to discard. Hover your mouse over a card to learn more about it. When you're done, click end turn to continue. Your hero is equipped. Your hero's equipped weapon adds damage to the first attack each turn. The red bar shows a character's HP. Yellow bar shows their action points. Blue bar shows their mana. Red bar is HP. Yellow bar is your action. Okay, so you can- I can do three actions, or... Yeah, one AP, one AP, and no AP? Okay. Action points are reset at the end of each turn. Any unspent points are wasted. Mana is spent to play magic cards. Your hero regenerates one mana at the start of each turn. Before you begin battle, you may mulligan by drawing a new hand. Only do this if you're reasonably sure the new draw will be better. Now let's try it. Why am I floating? I'm so magical. Uh, okay, I'll hit for seven. And then I'll hit for three, and then I'll hit for four. And then he's dead. Sick. You defeated the bandit. You gained 5 XP and 6 gold. Okay. Find a treasure chest. During your adventures, you will come across various random non-combat events. I think I should be in a different spot. Maybe down here. Uh, okay. Most of the decisions will modify your deck of cards. Remember, a deck built with a specific strategy is better than an inconsistent deck. Open it. What is this? Herbalist cloak. Oh. Gain a temporary copy of a random card from the enemy's hand. Deal two physical damage for each card played, including this one. I only have three AP right now, but I might have more later. I'll try this one. I'm a rogue after all. I love that I'm just floating. Why? 
Chrysander, thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the cat gang. Oh yeah, I'm in the wrong place. Wait a minute, okay, hold on. What if I'm here? I think that'll be okay. I think here we'll be fine. Let's do that, let's try that. Okay. <clears throat> Whenever you defeat an enemy, you gain XP and gold. When your XP bar fills up, you level up and regain all your HP. You almost always have a choice of which enemy to fight next. Picking your fights wisely will allow you to level up. The higher the enemy level, the more XP they will give, but higher level enemies are also much harder. Oh, what's pure damage? Oh, let's go for it. Okay, 15. And 10. 15. <laughs> Yay! You've leveled up. Your total HP has been increased and your HP replenished. Choose either a reward or a new card to add to your deck. Find an item. What item did I get? Ah, armor. Junk armor. That's fine. I'll take it. This is- I don't understand this. Uh, Dr. Pepperica, thank you so much for the two months. Mm-hmm. Meteor Fall is super cute. That is true. It's like a very simplified, um, deck builder RPG sort of a thing. Defeat the final bandit to complete the quest. Hmm. Okay, so I should do that first. And then... That, and then... That. Yay! Scoots, thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the Cat Gang! Did it. Oh, yeah! Huh. Complete the tutorial. Wait. Unspent. Oh! Oh! Enemies now have a 20% chance to drop health. Future heroes start with 9 additional HP. <gasps> oh, so this is like forever upgrades. Assassins gain plus 5 dodge chance. Oh, let's do one of these normal ones. Sure. Higher starting HP. That sounds good. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Done. Junk armor. Leather armor. Level 2 magic armor. Plus 1 HP from a potion drop. Uh. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh, it actually changes what I look like! Wrong slot, what do you mean? Does it have to go here? I see. Okay. Oops. Oh, that's not junk anymore. There we go. Okay. Uh, close inventory and go to the old castle. Sure. Okay. Time to do a little hunting. Oh, gosh. There's a lot to do in here. Let's fucking do it. Let's do this. Another hopeful hero trying to be a monster slayer, huh? Well, it's dangerous to go alone, so choose your companion. Oh. I can have a companion. Interesting. A warrior. Or a paladin. I'll take a warrior. Jewel Doom is in my party now. Uh, I want to go this way. 
Maybe in a car. Right. Sure. It's my life goal to study all the cards. Would you let me copy something from your deck? Sure. Uh... Successfully copied a card from your deck. Okay. Take them out. This is a trap! It, automatically, it is automatically defeated after a few turns, but all damage is reduced by 50 unless you're a rogue. Sexcellent. What does this do? Deal two physical damage plus one for each other chain strike that you've played. Interesting. Uh, okay. It's interesting that some of this stuff doesn't. Um. Okay, that's the end of my turn. Ah, it's my first time being hit! My body. Maybe whoever's turn it is floats. Maybe that's why. Uh. Okay, so that should be what we do last. Um, block and then enter. Okay. Oh, yeah. You defeated the trap! Okay. Recover 15 HP and delete this card. Uh, I wonder if this is like in um, Slay the Spire where it's like deleted. But next time we play, it'll be there again. Let's find out. I'll take it. Wait, can I change the order that we're in? Because I feel like, as the rogue, I feel like I should not be in front. Can I, like, swap us or what? Enemy hand. Discard. Okay. You encountered a spider. Beware its web and sting. Okay. What? Oh. Oh, sick! Cool. She gave me shields. Excellent. Um. Delete means it's gone forever. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, mods, we can, we can lighten up on the back seating or on the, on the time outing today for, for tips and stuff. It, it's been so intense with Dark Souls the last couple of days. We'll, we'll chill on it today. So don't worry too much. Um... Wait, I poisoned myself? Good damn. Emojo Jojo, what's up, dude? Thank you so much for the 35. Time to reinstall this game again. Oh, have you played a bunch of it? Okay. 
Defeated the spider. Gained 10 XP and 3 gold. Sick. Uh. I'm close to level 2. Take him out. It's a griffin. Beware its deadly pounce and sharp, rending talons. Okay. Um. I'll block. Attack and then backstab. Whoa! Rending hit. No. Ow! Oh what? shit! Oh shit! This griffin is fucking me up! Thank god I grabbed that meat! Oh, I can't even use this. My attacks aren't doing anything. I am able. Oh, it's because he's got like armor on, huh? Interesting. Here it goes. Huh. Oof, please don't kill me. I'm scared. Holy shit, I'm down to 4 HP already? Jesus! <gasps> oh, hell yes! No! <laughs> I'm gonna die. No! Game collected from this run will be added to your total unlock additional advantages for future runs. Defeat. Defeat. We ranked up though. Oh uh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I feel like maybe I could use health Select potions in this character. game. Okay, this time let's be Oh, these are all different classes too. There's so many. Uh, let's be a knight. We shall take the world for our cause. Um, and you're going to be Cat Babble. Alright, Cat Babble. Let's do this shit. The great chefs specialize in preparing exotic dishes cooked from the strangest ingredients. Monster Slayer's Guild supplies meat to the capital from some of the rarest creatures in the world. You've been sent to the Northern Valley to gather new ingredients for the guild. Your quest is simple, but easier said than done. Slay three legendary monsters and return as a Monster Slayer. Banished cards are removed from play for the rest of battle. Deleted cards are removed permanently. Cool. Oh, we are not a top, top Slayer. Oh, we get to keep all this shit. Interesting. I don't want to sell that. Like, what? Like, what if? <laughs> uh, okay. Go to the old castle. Don't worry, guys. I'll My die a lot. We'll have lots of opportunities. So, don't even worry about it. Let's do this. Another hopeful hero. Choose my companion. I want you again. Now that I know what you do. Um, let's go to the centaur. Oh! Its powerful strength grants higher health than other creatures. Okay, let's do it. Oof! 40 health. What? Okay. Stanok. Stanok. 
I don't know what that means. Uh, deal seven damage to the enemy. Guaranteed critical. Oh, okay. Oh, nearly. Gain 5 XP and 3 gold. The UI is hard to follow. It's not too confusing for me. They shall feel my fury. Um. Okay, so this is our XP bar. We're currently level one. HP, AP, mana, mana. Uh, these are the items that we have on right now. So this is the weapon we're using and the armor we have on. Uh, our draw deck is 12. We have nothing in our discard pile yet because we haven't played anything. Um, three AP is action points. So I can use three action points basically. So like this doesn't say it has, it'll take away from any action points. This will use one, this will use one, um, and then the enemy has three cards in their hand currently. It's the same situation on the other side, right? Are you flying? I don't know. I think that's a great question. I got HP back. You leveled up. Total HP has been increased. HP is replenished. Choose a reward or a new card. Hmm. Upgrade a card. Hell yeah. Alter. What's that? Find an ancient carved stone altar covered in runes that says, The Harbinger does not fear the blade. You run your fingers through the rune and the stone crackles with power. Investigate the altar to see what blessing it offers. Yes. If you claim its gift, all your enemies have 10% less HP, but your companion's abilities have their cooldowns increased by two. Sure, I'll take it. You claimed the gift. Uh, I don't have very much gold, so... Um, no, sorry. Perfect. Yay, got some health. Um, Slimes and I don't always get along. Oh, he's got a little angry face. He's a Eugene. It can eat my cards. What a bitch. What did it say it was resistant to? Physical. Yeah. I'm only doing one damage to it. He doesn't do a lot of damage, though. So I guess he's just harder to kill. Uh, 
I like that the the um, shield carries over. That's nice. Uh, draw two cards or gain four AP. And then draw one card. Well, so much damage. Ryu, thank you so much for the six months. I hope I don't cry at the finale of Nebula Jazz, but I think I probably will. Um, <laughs> I was about to say something that might be a spoiler. So, I won't. Yay! Oh, I got 10 HP back. That's great. Total HP has been increased. HP replenished. Plus 5 to your max HP or find an item or... Hmm. Poison damage. I'm a fan. Um... Let's gain gold, because then we can go to the merchant. Hello. Oh. She greets you cheerfully and shows you some items she has for sale. View your wares. Hmm. Restock. Oh. Healer. Okay, I don't need you yet. But that's good to know. And philosophy of the Paladin Order is simple. It does not kill us, makes us strong. This card is discarded by another card's effect. Draw two cards and recover 35 HP. Gain plus three HP regeneration per turn until the start of your next turn. You gain physical resist. Sure, I'll take that. Death awaits you. Be careful of their magic. Okay. Uh, thank you, B9. Yeah, we're enjoying it too. Um, okay. Hmm. I guess I'll just, like, stack up some shields. Oof, okay. My shields barely do anything against magic, I guess. Okay. Thank you so much for the 43 months. Um. 
Go back to the merchant. That's interesting. Uh, hmm. I wonder if I can always go back to the healer. She can either heal you or delete one of your cards. Uh, heal me, please. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how long this one has been out, but... He can heal and use support cards like a bitch. Man, how do I put these on? Because they're not already on. Now! Ah, uh, because this costs mana, I see. That's what was confusing me before. A magic shield? But that's magic, I don't do magic. Uh, and I guess that's it. Ow. Stop. Stop this. He just keeps putting new shields up. So she's a companion that has an ability that's on a cooldown. Um, the cooldowns are in battles. So I've used her ability. So she can't... There's nothing she can do to help me right now. Yay! Yay, we leveled up! So I got extra health. Cancel the next magic card played by the enemy. Ooh! Yo, that's nice. Campfire. Oh, it's like a... Mm, perfect place to take a rest. Uh, we'll come back later, because I assume that heals us a bit. Iron Golem. Captain. I will not back down. After this battle, I need to remember to see if I can put this stuff on.
Oh, interesting. So the dissipate just happened? Huh. Yay, we win. Okay, this is a trap. I forgot to do it. Yeah, your character looks different when you put on gear, which is cool. Look at all this shit we got. We leveled up again. Okay. Can I... Can I put stuff on or no? Uh, chat or anybody who's played this game before, I can't put these things on until I'm until I've made it out. Maybe you have to camp. Oh, maybe. Yeah, let's try that. Start. No. You can only do it between levels. You have to finish the entire level. Okay. All right. Death awaits you. Dissipated. Hell yeah. Nice. It's fucking awesome. Cool. Yeah, I know. That's- I've tried to- Yeah. I've tried to pull them onto those squares. It does show my equipped items right here. But I can't- I can't pull things onto there. People who have played the game have confirmed that there's nothing I can do until I'm out, so that's fine. <gasps> Why did he get to go first? <gasps> I didn't accidentally hit Mulligan, did I? Oh no, I want to save her thing. What am I doing? Canceled. Oh, he dodged them. Interesting. I hate that this covers what's going on, so I can't- I have- I have to, like, think about what I want before I click it, I guess. Ho oh ho!
Okay, so the Iron Golem. Tough metal skin makes it naturally fortified. Making your strongest attacks less effective. Oof. Alright. Oof. Okay. And yeah, my hat my hits do nothing. <laughs> Campbell's, thank you for the twenty months. Uh, come clumsy goose cat. Thank you so much for subscribing and fro ninja Sam. Thank you so much for the 13 months Come on, man. No more. Yeah. We did it. Oh, it says we slayed a boss. Sick. Uh. Wait, so what are these then? If they're not bosses. Oh. You may train with her to gain action points or upgrade your cards. Oh, what? Oh my god, I had no idea. Now I know. I thought that they were going to be like bosses. Um, let's upgrade one of those. Um. Victory. Yay! Yay! Surrender to your destiny. 
If it doesn't have a level, they're friendly. Got it. Maki Kona, thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the cat gang. Bosses are guaranteed to drop a random item. Health potions dropped by enemies heal 25% of your HP instead of 15. Yes, please. There is no other match for this power. Uh, it is now gained 7 HP per level instead of 5. Defeated enemies now drop 2 extra gold. The campfire will now always appear on every level. Um. Sure, that's easy. Okay. Put these on my body. Yeah, look at you. You look very different now. Okay, uh, let's go to the Forbidden Desert. I look forward to this challenge. But that's really your voice. Love it. Love it. Let's do this. Your companions grow stronger and gain their tier two abilities. Choose a second companion. Ho ho. Gain ten coins. Draw a card and gain three AP. Look at your face, you're so jazzed. <laughs> Another companion! Sure, fuck it. Oh my gosh, I can change the names of these. I didn't realize. Okay. Summer I Summer Z. Sorry. You're part of the party now. <gasps> Why did I go here? I thought that that said level one. Uh, we're not ready for this, but let's just fucking do it. I guess. Not fair. Oof. Oof. Oh, no, this was such a mistake. This is an all blocky turn. This was a mistake. I don't interrupt only. I'm pretty sure I can use this as 12 damage, can't I? Or, oh, it only, if it dissipates something, then it does 12 damage. I'm gonna die. That's it. I'm so sorry. Defeat. Select your character. Ah. Defeated. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's try being... Looks like you could use an extra blade. A wizard. A wizard named the Burning Fist. Ranger watchtowers of the Northern Valley are abandoned, a forgotten relic of the Great War against the Orcs. As the Rangers move to reclaim these watchtowers, they recruit fresh members of Monster Slayers to assist them. 
Yo! I'm not at zero anymore. What a delight. Okay. Let's go to the Elderberry Forest. Someone explain this game to me. Um, it's just another this version of sure like a deck friendly. builder dungeon crawler. It's Let's got like lots of different classes you can play. Oh my gosh, you're so jazzed. Uh, draw a card and gain mana. You are a wizard. Sure. Let's go. Fuck it, let's go. Let's fight this level one bandit. Need two AP and draw a card. Okay. Get ready for this. Hell yeah. Get fucked, my boy. Um, let's see what treasure we got. Eight frost damage. Hell yeah. Altar. If you claim its gift, you gain a random elemental resistance, but you no longer regenerate mana passively. No thank you. Uh, okay. I guess it's the only thing we can do. was hit. Needs seven Get mana. See if you can dodge this. Two mana charges. What the fuck am I supposed to do with these? Oh. What the fuck? It two dissipates this boy. Please don't hit me anymore. Thank you. Oh, you might be dead already. Poor sweet burning fist. No! Defeat. No! I want to try a wizard again, though. I'm gonna try a wizard again. Sorry, Burning Fist. It's Mr. Daffa's turn. Interesting. It's a different staff. Thank you for the 18 months. I am having a swell day. I can't complain. My blade Slept is in a little. Let's do this. Okay, what companion do we want? Covers 15% of your HP. Draws a card and gains... Uh, sure, you. Level 1. Here we go. Uh. 
Oh, wait. <gasps> Damn, that sucks. I'm not following why sometimes I'm like gaining, uh, for lack of a better word, like an op like an attack of opportunity. Okay, this is the same thing again, where I'm still level one, but I'm gonna have to fight. What's going on over here? Hello. Okay, here we go. Much better. They shall feel my fury. Sick. Total HP is increased. Okay, now let's fight this level two boy. Shall feel my fury. Oh. Sick. Perfect. Okay, let's go fight this skelly mage. Do not back down. A magic missile too. It's almost like he's a mage. Sick. Serious. It's that retaliate card. That's what's doing it. Interesting. Okay, I'm still level two. I don't want to fight you guys, but I guess I will. This is just a normal ass skeleton, right? So fury. we should be okay. I hope. Seven poison damage. Enemy suffers poison three. Gain a magical shield that blocks the next 20 damage. Yes, please. I'll take that. Because I'm a baby. Not back down. Um... Sure. Click two cards to dis- Two? That's dumb. You suck, lion. Not a fan of everything going on with you. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? No more roaring. Just hit me like a normal lion. Oops. There we go. Um, Captain! 
Oh, I'm delighted to find you. Upgrade a card, please. Um... Let's make another one of those a seven. Fight this knight over here. This game is called Monster Slayers. It's another like deck building, uh, dungeon crawling game. That was recommended. Sure, fuck it. Oh, this bitch. That sucks. Can't really do shit. Really? Oh my god. I wish your thing was turn-based, my dude. That would just be so nice. Not another one, please. That sucks. Defeat. Defeat. There is no other match for this power. Um. Select your character. I really have to pee now. Why you don't mana charge and shield yourself? It wasn't my turn yet. Those are my cards for my next turn. <laughs> okay. Really quick BRB. Sorry guys. I really have to be for real this for real this time. I'm not gonna get side side sideways. I'm not gonna get sideways. How wow! I'm back. Um, to uh, the people who were asking if they could see the bump, because there have been a couple of you. This is this is Babu. Babu bump. Um. Ugh. As of this week, we are in the third trimester. Very exciting. <laughs> so. She's gonna grow a lot in the next couple of months. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready for it. <laughs> it's getting bigger every day. I know, that's literally all she does is grow. Is that crazy? <laughs> it's all she's gotta do is just hang out in there and grow and like gain muscle form and stuff. Do you have any stretch marks yet? No. It's a bummer, but I do not have any stretch marks yet. Uh, hmm, there's no sound. Is there supposed to be no sound? If you're looking for a sharpshooter, ah. I'm the sharpest. There we go. Sure. Try Beastmaster, I don't know what that is. Drunk and dying. Yeah, I'm I'm one of those very rare people that fucking loves stretch marks and thinks that they're awesome. And yet I have I have none. It's a bummer. Um Am I the only one that kinda like wants to turn the music off? <laughs> am I the only one? Uh, close inventory, and then, I don't think we've done the volcanic tunnels. Yeah, I have some, uh, I have some little ones on my thighs. But that's, like, it. Um... 
Yeah, let's see. We have to be very careful about the music we play now. So, um, let's go with, uh, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, let's play let's play some MDK. Let's see if uh if it's too loud or not loud enough or I'll turn it down a little bit. There is a great sense of evil here. Oh let's do this. It's so dark here. Oh, I didn't Oh, because I already have a companion. That's what's up. Hello. Ooh. Yeah, upgrade that one. Level one slime. Hell yeah. Not again. Everyone be careful. Turn it down just a little bit. Let me know if that's too low now. Okay. So Bailey, my pupperoo, has 25 HP. If I use his ability, add two random wolf cards to your hand. Card. Hell yeah. Take that. Perfect. I don't want to be healed yet, though. Come back later. Man, really? Okay, I'll go to another captain, sure. Uh, let's upgrade. Um, let's do this, cause then it'll pop open three different spots. I could have blocked any of those, is the point. Okay, so. Now, let's keep upgrading our cards. The three Bs are, the three Bs are freebies, which is nice. I assume like, as you level these up, yeah, they're, they cost more to use. Up to 
five random upgradable cards in your deck gain a level, but your companion abilities have their cooldowns increased. No thanks. Um, let's go to the merchant. What do you got? Ooh! Uh, I do want a better bow. Not enough coins! Fuck! I'll be back. First. No. Here it goes. Um. Perfect. Okay, we're level three now. I've done all of this shit. Let's do this, because it unlocks a couple things. Let's kill them and take their stuff. That's the plan, girl. Go for a trick shot. Holy shit. <laughs> Fucking annihilated. All the cards in the enemy hand. I'll take another precise hit, sure. Let's go back over here and buy that bow, even though I can't use it yet. Um, and then, yeah, what's this? I can offer you a really rare gift a level five attack card. Do cover ten percent of your maximum HP, then draw the next two attack cards and banish this card. Sure, hell yeah. Take them out. Yo, this class so far is treating us pretty well, I gotta say. Let's kill them and take their stuff.
Oh, he ate cards? What a bitch. Oh, it didn't do shit to him. God, that sucks. There we go. Did anyone watch the new movie The Ritual on Netflix? So damn good. Uh, I don't know that I heard about it. Merlin Herc, thank you for the 32 months. Is that the one where the image is like a bunch of trees and then a little kid? A real nobody! Thank you for the eight months! Uh, sure. man just dodge just once that would be so great yeah I heard the Cloverfield movie was not great Goodbye, buddy. Your hand size has increased to four cards. Goodness. Take him out. You feeling sharp, sort of mine? Get ready for this. Hey, Why isn't retaliate happening? Right between the eyes. Interesting. There we go. Everybody's okay, right? All right, there's the demon lord. So let's go heal. And then Use this other one. Do we to get rid of a card? Um. Uh, no. Does your chat? Does your money carry over? Like, once I've defeated a level, will I still have thirty-one gold going into the next area? It carries over. Okay, cool. Then I won't worry about like wasting my months or anything. Yeah, 
All right, let's do this shit, bitch. <laughs> Demon Lord forces you to suffer a curse. Temporary stone card or the demon draws two. I'll take a stone card. Ow. No. No. Ow. Charging up. I'll take some bullshit in my hand. I'm fine with that. Could have been. <laughs> yeah, puppy. Yes, please. Okay. Uh, okay. Go to the swamp. All right, treasure. Here I come. Let's do this. Precise hit. Oh, if you use this card first, add 10 pure damage. Oh, yeah, I did not see that before. Thank you for letting me know. Fred Shin, thank you for the four months. And Zach Esco, thank you for the three. Slams. What is this? My 
Elf's ability is that he puts two random wolf cards directly into my hand. Um, which is pretty great. Yeah, I'll do a little heal. Oof. Yeah, get him. Oh, and I got healed. Excellent. And a captain. Hello. Hello. Um. Yeah, let's upgrade one of those pounces. Ooh, another one. Hello. Gain temporary copies of two random cards. Gain three to five gold. I'm gonna replay this. If I just gain 20 XP, then I immediately level up to seven. I think I'm gonna do that. I know, man. A lioness. Oh, she's so cute. How come the lion looks like a normal ass lion and the lioness is like a hot lion? <laughs> a hot anthropomorphic lion. Uh, I shouldn't have used that yet. That's okay. Ah, uh, okay. Um. The other lion was a feral lion. Ah, of course. Naturally. <laughs> what a bitch. Ow, ah, fuck. left though if you claim it's gift all your enemies at 10% but you start battles with bleeding five no thank you lion outlaw uh this will open up more stuff so let's do this one Oh my god. See if you can catch this. Put that for a trick shot. No. No.
Poor Beastmaster, no dead. I can't pick, no treasure I can't steal. Select your character. Goodbye, drunken dead. You were drunk on power, and then you died. No time to waste. Let's go. Airworthy. You're gonna be our necromancer. I'm enjoying it, yeah. Back to the forest. My blade is at the ready. Let's do this. Ho ho! Oh man, which one do I want? I'll take block girl. Let's see how they handle my blade. A temporary undead minion into your hand. It deals nine physical damage when played. Okay. Here it goes. Gain three mana, discard the top card of both you and your enemy's draw pile, and then draw a card. Here it goes. Yay! A challenge next time, please. Mm, okay, we'll go to the merchant. Hello. I'll come back later. Captain. Five pure damage, one extra pure damage for each card in your discard pile. Huh. Interesting. I guess I have to fight. I have to fight a level two something. All right, let's do it. Dumb. Shit's dumb. Game. Get out of here. Stronger already. Okay. Okay. Let's see them dodge my attack.
music is great. It's all by MDK. It's all on Spotify. He's a super cool dude. Make it more of a challenge next time, please. I like that they just like. <laughs> Let's see how they handle my blade. Get ready. Huh. Cool. Dodged. Dodged. Dodge. Guess he had an ability that I didn't notice. There we go. That's the good shit. Fourteen months. Gather my might. Sick. Hmm. Interesting. How they handle my blade. Let's fight a gobbo. Fire. Let's see them dodge my attack. How'd you compare this to Slay the Spire? Um, let's see. So far, uh, Slay the Spire doesn't have um like items that you can put on, which is uh more common in like deck builder RPG games, right? Um, or like you have pieces of armor and weapons that you can apply to your character. Um, so this this has that. Slay the Spire doesn't. Uh, I'm trying to think other like big differences. Um, things carry over in this game. Things don't carry over in Slay the Spire. So like purposefully like your block doesn't carry over. Um, like, yeah, you have to you have to think about it a bit differently that way. I guess the relics are kind of like items. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Three cards is is a small draw. Yeah. But as you level up, you're able to draw, you have a bigger draw, so.
way more classes in this game as well. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, let's do that. Here we go. See if you can yeah. dodge this. I need more, like, mana regen cards to use this kind of stuff. This will fetch a pretty penny. Ugh, fine. But I can't use it very well yet. Game. Let's see how they handle my blade. Seven mana. Lord. <laughs> Challenge next time, please. Oh, level one. Hell yeah, let's go do that. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Evidence. Evidence that we have grown. Ugh. Let's see how they handle my blade. Um. Oh, I should be fine. Fingers crossed. Actually able to use it. Look at that. Let's do this. All right. So see now I have a bigger hand size than I did before. You got ooh an arcane staff of the weasel. What can I do at the campfire again? Start. Oh, I see. I have to click claim your rewards. I can't just click the card. Got it! You 
can dodge this. Body slam move. Get ready. <sighs> An interrupt. Whoa. And the enemy's turn to draw two cards if six or more cards are played. Interesting. Whoa, what happened to me? There's nothing up here. <gasps> what happened? Who am I? I want more gold so that I can go back here. Fifteen magic armor. Okay, what was that? This one? Fifteen spider hammer cloak. Oh, but I can't afford that one. Sam is now playing Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Reset companion names. All companions' names will be reset. I keep forgetting that I can rename the companions, so I thought maybe that would give me the opportunity to rename them, but it doesn't look like it wants to. All right, let's go to the dead forest. These monsters will be a challenge. I don't think let's we've been here this. yet. Oh yeah, it's not giving me the opportunity anymore. Hello. Oh, you're this person's permanently named Summer Z now though. That's really funny. What level are we? 6. Okay, let's go here. Let's see if we can kill this let's boy. Let's do this. Start battle. Oh shit, I always forget he gets to go first. What a dick. Get out of here, come on. This is his thing, draw a card and gain three AP, okay. Get ready. With 6% dodge. Now his dodge is at 25. That shit's dumb. Get ready. Here it goes. Oh, 
Ugh. What am I missing out of his shit? Cancels the next card. But it's been canceling like multiple See cards. You dodge this. Gather my might. I'm dead. That's too bad. Six percent for me to be able to hit him? Okay, that's not very clear. Defeat. Select your character. Hmm. Should we do a dragon boy? I think we should. Um, and our dragon is going to be named Dog Foo. I haven't played around with this stuff at all. Be a bright blue dragon. You can have different hairstyles? No, he cannot. What the fuck? Uh, what are your cards like? Okay, lots of... Uh... Interesting. Yeah, is there anything that I can use? Okay, I can put shoes on. I can put a helmet on. Okay. Skin color changed the element. Oh, that makes sense. Well, why all of our spells are ice spells? <gasps> yes, good idea. This companion will be named Devoted to Chaos. Let's start the battle. Yes, God, when you have roar, it's great. We both have roar. We both know how this works, all right? So let's not use roar on each other, fuck! Fuck, fine.
I don't think he likes the frost. That's why I kept that. Hell yeah. Nice. Damn it. Okay, let's go to the healer and say, we don't want to be healed yet. Here we go. Butterfly, that's so awesome! What do you teach? Or like, what, what grade level? I feel like I know so many teachers, which is awesome. should be using the thief because literally all she does is give me money and I'm not using her for anything give me money yay Second grade in a small town. Oh. Well, that's awesome. I'm sure you're a lovely teacher. <gasps> yeah, I want that. Sure, I'll try that. Man, we're still only level three. Um, I guess we'll just fight a bandit. And fingers crossed. <laughs> um, Kansas. Yeah. 
but like that's where Clark Kent grew up, so. <laughs> Wasn't it? Isn't it Kansas that he grows up in? Now I'm second guessing it. Oh no. I suddenly panicked and thought, was it Kentucky? No, it's Kansas. Right? It's Kansas. <laughs> I couldn't commit in my mind. Come on. Why do you have roar? Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh well. Merp. Kentucky is KY, I think. No, no, no. I was saying like Clark Kent grew up in Kansas and then I was like, "Wait. Or did he grow up in Kentucky?" It's Kansas. It's Kansas, guys, just to put it all to rest. Oh gosh, you can't even get Google Fiber easy here. <laughs> Frost dragon, but that's what I am. What the goodness gracious. Yeah, I have a bunch of fucking baby cards. Oh, enemy immediately loses five HP. Upgrade the card only if it's like the final blow. Interesting. Um, if it's in your hand when you die, recover all HP instantly and delete this card. I'll try using that. That sounds fun. Excuse me, how many fucking cards do you have? Oh, he used the he used the first card to draw two. Got it. He's about to get real sassy. Glad I entertain you. Oh, I'm weakened right now. How long does that last? 
Uh. Okay, it's gone. What's up? Hey, let's campfire. Start. Now I'm gonna rewards from deck of twelve. Two of the cards are fish bones. If you draw these, you lose all the rewards you've gained so far. just do that. Oh, I should have grabbed the treasure. Oh, well. Yo, the dragon seems like it would be a really good way to just, like, get stuff for everybody. Right, I could have drawn bonuses, but I could have also lost every reward I have, right? the rewards from the campfire again not clear sure okay Anything I miss about Memphis besides my friends is the food. Yeah, I, uh, I miss, like, the peace and quiet, but, like, in Oregon. Not in Memphis. I've never lived in Memphis. <laughs> shit 30 hp that card's fucking crazy thank you okay uh sure what it's against myself this is like link versus dark link i don't know how i feel got through. Tome Biter, thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the cat gang. Which one do I shoot? <laughs> no. 
Wait. Oh, I just realized that was really, really fucking stupid of me. Check if that card exhausts. I should have. This sucks because we're both weak to, or uh, not weak at all to ice. once per battle. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Oh man, this really sucks. I won't gain these now for myself, though. Right? Hmm. Yeah. That's okay. Okay. Let's do this. You are named Zico. Level six. Spoopy. That was beautiful. It's 
only got a two battle cooldown. That's so nice. Um, if a card pops up in my hand and it says stone on it, it means that it's a card I had, but it's been turned to stone, so it's unusable. Because she's Medusa. some health back. That's great. Hello. Hi. I'm over the level six. Let's do it. Oh, it's a trap. Level six trap. Okay. Okay, so I can't upgrade this card again. It's upgraded as high as it can be. Gotta eat. If I can just get it down to 30, I can use Exploding Heart on it. Nine mana. That's not going to happen. Oh! Okay. Level seven now. Let's do this. Oh no. Is it a is it a pun nightmare in chat right now? Weekend. Uh, I know I can use the heart anytime. I thought that I could upgrade it, but that's okay. But I've upgraded it as high as I can upgrade it, it looks like. Which is fine. Jesus Christ. Heard of the new Netflix show, Everything Sucks. No, I have not. Jesus, 18 mana. I don't know if that's in our future, but that's okay. Start. Hmm. Congratulations. 
Choose a card to delete. Awesome. Get rid of one of those. Five physical damage and two cards. Enemy suffers bleed. No! on Nebula Jazz and enjoy visiting your parents. Thank you, Avi. Get a good night's sleep. Aw, oh, no health back? What is this garbage? I didn't come all the way here just to die. Ugh, okay. Do not have enough mana for any of this shit. Bad deck. It's a bad deck. Bon voyage. Defeat. Defeat. Uh -huh. Oh. Select your character. Okay, we'll do one more run. What would you guys like to see? Blue Wolf, thank you so much for subscribing. Merchant, potions, apothecary, merchant. Okay. I've seen two apothecaries, three merchants. Merchant, 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 merchant. Okay. How could I ever turn down the opportunity to treasure hunt? I don't know. Uh, green tinsel. You will be our merchant. Or max HP. Um, I think I'll put that on actually. Is that Jesse in the background? Uh, I don't know. I didn't Let's hear anything. Coins. Oh, damn. Fight as you would. I'll heal as I will. Worth a price. Mm, 
No. Fight as you would. I'll heal as I will. Gain six mana and banish this card. Draw a card if it's manually discarded. Thank you so much for the two months. Yes. Hmm. But how much gold? All that experience had to go somewhere. Heals 20 HP instantly. So if I go to the merchant, what happens? Yo, hell yeah. Good sword. I'll take that. Heal as I will. Ready my blade. To make a snack for Nebula Jazz. What's better, beans on toast or cheese on toast? <laughs> Power flows through me. Um, yeah. I'm not a huge fan of beans on toast. Yes. I like toast with beans on the side, so I would say cheese on toast. But I know that that's slightly sacrilegious to some of you in there. So I'll cut them down. Spirits guide me. Spirits guide me. Har! So aggro. Instant one for 20 gold, two damage, or discard two for one gold. Hmm, that was actually really nice. For only one gold, I can get them to discard two cards? Hell yeah. Protect all. Everyone be careful. Power flows through ready my blade. I 
guess you'll just have to watch Nebula Jazz to know what Artemis is gonna do. Ready my blade. Yeah. No, I'm bleeding. Barf. Yay! Let's go to the healer. Let's go to the captain. Uh. Summer Z, what's up? Enemy is higher level than you or as a boss. Draw two cards and gain 25 gold. If this is in your hand and all the cards in your hand have different names. Banish this and draw three or gain 10 XP. Sure. Take one of your goofball cards. Um. Okay. Let's go fight this actual lion ass looking lion. Dodge Is it bad attack. that I'm sitting here at 2 a.m. eating a block of cheddar? <laughs> no. Ho ho! Ready. Go. Um. Nice. Here it comes. No, this was the the song that I used for my uh, news intro. die there. It was so out of the blue. Was I just not paying attention? Am I a fool? Am I a damn fool? I think the last hit was 48 damage. What? That hit did 48 damage. What the fuck? nonsense um i would say if i was if i was comparing the two since everybody keeps being like how does this compare to slay the spire um uh i i would i would say that i still enjoy slay the spire more but i'm not sure how i would explain why if that makes sense um but yeah 
You weren't a dragon boy anymore, so you died. No! <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to read off our list of new subscribers. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm stopping now because at 5.30 I have uh, Nebula Jazz, and I'd like to have a minute to get up and stretch and do stuff like that. Because cause I got all this all this <laughs> but thank you so much for hanging out with me today um again tomorrow i will be leaving for the desert to hang out with my family i will be there through thursday um i can't confirm or deny whether or not i will be doing a stream on thursday so i guess just keep your eyeballs peeled on the twitter and i'll let you know um but yeah nothing tomorrow nothing on Wednesday, et cetera. Um, what else? Check out our merch. Use exclamation point merch. Um, we have a Pomp Boy shirt in there now. We have pins. Um, any of you who have been waiting for us to have bigger sizes available, we have bigger sizes available now because uh, we're with the Yeti instead. And... Uh, yeah, I think it's going really good, so I'm excited. Um, and check out our coffee company at DodgerCoffeeCo.com. I think that that's it. So, uh, yeah, I'll send you guys over to Sam for the time being. He's also going to need to be on soundcheck soon, but, you know. Um, all right. Thank you so much to Egawaps, Drunk Arch, Kuro Waffles, Asperling, Dark Gray Otter, Gooding Splat, Funky Toaster, Omega Lupus, Bowen, Commando Joe, Cryptid Vulps, The Line, Seth Says, The First Mojo, Okali, Moro Crow, Sushi Commander, Okay, I'll Pay You Now, Bad Victory, uh, Criddle 312, Sean Shards, Matthew B, Bing Crusher, Forces Equal Zero, Wafflewell, Cadwalder, Mighty Deacon, Hipster Nate, Josher, Dead Man, Rev Farquhar, Wordsmith Pony, Ikeer, Amant, Voodoo, Passive Beard, Chrysander, Jensening, Racer PCG, Saint Butt, Scoot, Madero Kami, Butsumetsu, Clumsy Goose Cat, Zach Esco, Quid, Shifty Monk, Makikona, Tome Biter, Penguin in Space, Blue Wolf, and Adula Rune. Thank you guys so much for the support. I will see you at Nebula Jazz, hopefully. If not, if you're still catching up on Nebula Jazz, um, have fun. Savor it. <laughs> have fun and savor it. And for any of you who will be there for Nebula Jazz, wish me luck. Um, I'll see you guys in just a bit. And otherwise, I'll see you guys in a couple of days. Aw. Okay. Bye-bye.